Hi, this is Pat Moorhead, and we are live in Maui at Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit. 6.5 is on the road, and listen, somebody had to come to Maui, so I thought it might as well be me and my famous co-host, Daniel Newman. How I are you? I love that you introduced me as famous, and then people instantly look me up, and they're like, hmm. Well, wait a second. <laughs> I, I think you told me before that we, have, we can't assume everybody knows us, so I just want everybody to know that you're famous. That's true. That's all. By the way, I appreciate it. I, I'm a little taller than I was just a minute ago, Pat. But there no, we go. I mean, look, I'm excited to be here. This is what the fifth Snapdragon Summit. This is my fourth. Always like coming to Hawaii. Love hearing about the innovation, evolution of Snapdragon. And by the way, it's gotten so much bigger. It is. It really has. And we brought a great guest here, Alex Katuzian, to talk us through this. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, good to see you. I have to tell you, uh, my favorite part, I mean, I like when everybody comes in, but uh, when we met up uh, earlier earlier this week, yes. uh, uh, right across uh, in that restaurant, uh, I thought that was the probably the best conversation that, that, that we've had since uh, we've gotten to know each other. I agree. The impromptu conversations are always the best. Always the best. Actually, I was trying to flag you guys down. You didn't <laughs> see. So I took my glasses off and I was like, oh, hey. Oh, now I recognize him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Those invisible glasses. Well, I mean, the truth be told, there is a reason we've gone back voraciously to in-person events. Right. I know we're building the future. We've done episodes here on XR and AR and VR. We're going to talk to you about that. Yeah. We're doing episodes on mobility and about collaboration. But the truth is we do like getting together. There's a yeah. reason a mobile conference gets everybody to go to Hawaii and physically get together because we have some great conversations. That's exactly right. So, uh, Alex, I guess I'll kick it off. You know, we've had uh, conversations with many of your team here. We also talked to the big boss. Um, and one of the things with Cristiano we talked about, I think that I'd like to get your take on, is this connected intelligent edge. Feels to me that this is sort of the thesis, this is sort of the mandate that's kind of driving everything. You leading the Snapdragon portfolio, talk a little bit about this connected intelligent edge and how it's driving innovation and driving your team. Absolutely. So if I, if I zoom out a little bit to the bigger picture, uh, if, you, if, if people believe that the cloud growth is still massive and it's continuing to, to grow for, for as far as we can see, then you must also believe that the billions of devices at the edge that feed that data into the cloud will also have somewhat of an infinite growth for the next few years. And so that's where we play. We are the connected intelligent edge solution provider. And it could be, you know, it could be a phone, it could be a PC, it could be XR devices, it could be wearables, hearables, vehicles, IoT devices, industrial, any of those applications, our one technology roadmap is able to span across all of these segments. And we always approach it mobile first, but our design points can vary based on the segments that we're competing in. Yeah, it was interesting uh, when you first talked about uh, your expansion plans a few years ago. I'll admit, you know, coming from a big compute company for a few years, working on big platforms and servers, that you know, how would Qualcomm fill in some of the IP gaps and tech gaps? Yeah. But to your credit, I mean, so far in the markets that you've come into, you've had a tremendous amount uh, of, of success. Now, uh, you manage uh, mobility, no, no question there. You manage uh, the new uh, compute, which is essentially uh, your PC play, and, and also XR. Can you characterize the opportunities that, that you see in expanding Snapdragon uh, under, under your purview? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, like I said, everything starts with mobile first because the, the experience you have on mobile, it's always with you. You're always dependent on it for so many things. It's become your camera. It's become your assistant. Uh, it's become your gaming device. So, we kind of, we looked at these adjacent markets to mobile and they're starting to have the mobile traits. So PC is always going to be with you. It's, right. it's got long battery life, it has connectivity now. Um, it, you, know, you can securely connect from anywhere. Performance is really great. Battery life lasts a long, long time. So it kind of starts to look like mobile. XR the same way. So what we did was we said, okay, how can we apply these tech and solutions to those markets and scale them properly to meet the requirements of those markets? And on top of that, we have a lot of connected devices that are with us all the time. So why not extend that technology through there and try to figure out how to get them to work together more? And so that's, that's, the, that's the goal for us, to try to get as many connected devices 
that start to have contextual awareness and start to work together in a cohesive manner that the user experience will become great across all of them. And we're kind of the common denominator there. So you've kind of, you know, I've watched you, um, you know, taking the stage at these events for the past several years. And, you know, I mentioned in the beginning, this has been a fairly seismic shift. In the beginning, it was just mobile. It was just devices. I mean, that was kind of, I mean, there was a little bit of talk about it, but we are seeing this come to life. I mean, I guess leading this business, Alex, you know, how hard has this been to kind of shift the culture and get the culture to kind of come on and say, we're going to do some things different. This is a different Qualcomm, different Snapdragon. Yeah, I I think we have such a well-oiled machine in mobile. We know everything about the market. You know, we're we're playing infrastructure. We play in the, in the, in the devices that people carry. We write specs. We're in standards bodies. We, you know, do everything in the ecosystem. But we can also apply those same capabilities to these other areas. And as you see in an automotive, we've done such a fantastic job of growing the pipeline is because we're bringing such a complete system solution and trying to help the ecosystem to grow that way and advance that way. We can apply the same thing to PC. We're applying the same thing to XR. Uh, wearables and hearables as an attach to these devices become a bigger business for us. IoT devices interacting with them becomes a bigger business for us. So the mindset originally was, yes, mobile is the biggest business, but we now want to be the processor, the connected processor company for this intelligent edge devices. And if we're going to become that, we must shift computing concentration to PC, to XR, industry, industry 4.0 type applications, to automotive. So that's exactly what we did. We changed our mindset towards that. Yeah, so the PC, uh, the PC market is about 40 years old. Yes, okay? yes. I was doing the math in my head. Uh, I'm and, about 40 years old. Yeah, and it's about uh, uh, 250 to 300 million units, depending on, you know, where your bias is. You know, b- bullish or or bearish. So, some would call uh, that a business that has been figured out yet. But here we have Qualcomm, your folks, your team, uh, creating an entirely new platform to take advantage of that. What were some of the unmet needs, the big picture unmet needs in the PC market uh, that, that, that you can fulfill? Yeah, so uh, the PC market has always been about performance. And the more performance, the more power you spend. And you saw bulkier machines, and now we want to try to have PCs with us all the time, and it just didn't fit. So the inflection point came in where, um, unfortunately, we went through a pandemic. But then exactly when we did that, the PC became one of the biggest communication mediums in the world. Right. You're video teleconferencing all the time. You actually, you can work from anywhere now. Um, and, you know, so, so the, the transformation of the home looking like an enterprise became fulfilled. And there was an inflection point for us to enter. Connectivity is going to be a big deal. Security is going to be a big deal. Multimedia, your camera, your audio, your clarity, your AI applications are all going to become bigger deals. And so therefore, everything that we had applicable in our technology roadmap was immediately transferred over to the PC market. And now we have processing capability is top notch. Graphics capability is very good for the markets we're going after. AI capability is a big differentiator for us. And now, your video content and your audio content and how you interact with the PC becomes very important. Hence, we have the perfect solution for these types of markets. Yeah, it, it's, it's been fascinating to watch uh, the smartphone platform and the PC platform both, both evolve. Yes. So Daniel, you made a real astute uh, observation in one of our interviews this week that essentially said, you know, uh, for years, um, the smartphone folks really tried to create a computer in our pocket. And I know I'm paraphrasing you, but uh, great battery life, a great camera uh, capability. But now it seems like on the PC side, a lot of people are trying to take characteristics of the smartphone yeah. uh, into the PC, yeah. Yeah. right? And, and that's actually where I think you have a great opportunity. It's your center point. And listen, I've managed developers uh, before and engineers, and if you have a thousand engineers that you want to spend money on, uh, I, I think the current regimes in the PC industry would say, hey, I'm going to spend a thousand engineers at 5% better performance, as opposed to uh, 
Qualcomm Center Point, which is, I would say, a balanced view of performance that you would put your engineers into lowering power at a certain performance point. That's correct, but that's actually twofold. We're always, the, the, the DNA of this company is high performance, low power. Right. It has to be combined, because otherwise these applications won't be mobile. Right. right. And PCs are now mobile. But we do even, we go beyond that. We have a very robust developer community that we work with to try to get user experiences to become much better. Right. And so reference designs and SDKs and APIs and tools are all being put in place. Actually, they are in place. If you look at, for example, the XR spaces that we, that we talked about before. And now on the PC side, we're really, really trying to concentrate on AI-based applications. They've taken over the smartphone, but now they're going to start to take over the PC. And because we have good processing power at low power, good processing capability at low power. These developers are now given the choice to create more experiences, because they can now. Right. More experiences to bring to the, to, the, to the user to see, hey, this is a really good product to use. And so we're really participating in that, and we're at the center of that. And um, I think the more we have developers working with us, the more tools we provide them, the more capability to access the underlying technology, the better off these smart devices are going to become. Yeah, it definitely takes a village, and it, it took a village and an ecosystem in smartphones. Yes. Uh, it's going to take, I think, a rebooting of the ecosystem on the PC side, and I think Qualcomm has a ton of experience on that. And uh, finally, with, with XR, with spaces, I mean, you're, you're creating ecosystems uh, as well. Yeah, that's exactly correct. And uh, the developer community has become very important for us because without their feedback, we won't have the right technology to evolve. It's been a really interesting journey to watch. Of course, here at Snapdragon Summit, it focuses on the Snapdragon portfolio. I said to Alex when we met outside, I said, we'd, I'd, you know, I would love to see Ride make it to Summit because yeah. I think the auto business is just super exciting. Yeah. But you know, in the conversations we've had with Cristiano, with Alex, it's just very interesting to watch the maturity, the diversification of the business, the multiple multi-billion dollar business lines and of course, how this is happening within the QCT portfolio, it's exciting. And I'm sure this week, with you leading these different groups, XR and Compute, Alex, you've yes. got a lot to be excited about. Oh, so let's yeah, end yeah. on something fun. Yeah. What are you most, like in this diversification play, outside the handset, what is the thing that has you most excited? And don't tell me you love all your children. I know. The same. <laughs> I know. Come on. No. Okay, uh, so here, here's the thing. We've always been known as the process, the, the communications company. It's in our name, Qualcomm. Okay, but we're now evolving to become the connected processing company for all these edge devices. And so if you look at four businesses that are gonna really make us well known for that, it's in no order of preference, it's PC, it's XR, it's automotive, and it's industry 4.0 applications. And so those are the four concentrations for, for this company to move forward to be known as the processing company for the intelligent edge. I think he said I love it. it. I think he said he loved all his kids. I think he said he loved yeah, all even his some kids. of his stepkids too. Yes, yes. that was but, good. Uh, it's true. It's, we yeah. provide all the technology. The answer of a true too. diplomat. Yeah. No, yeah. totally. All right. Totally. Yeah. Alex Katusian, I want to thank you so much for joining us here. Thank at you. Thank Snapdragon you for inviting Summit. me. It's yeah, a it's pleasure. Great to, great to have you on pleasure the show. To see you guys. Yeah. We're gonna have yeah. you back. I don't know when, but soon. Maybe for the summit. Maybe for the summit. Yeah. He hasn't made an appearance. No, at he hasn't. Yeah, we need yeah. to get him in there. Just let me right. know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Do it. You heard that here. You heard that. He said, I just let him know. If he's not yes. there next year, you know. We did not not let him know. <laughs> no. All right, I'll everybody out there. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you had a chance to, to tune into all nine of our episodes here. We talked to a lot of the execs all the way through the businesses, through the announcements, and it was a great way if you want to quickly catch up on all things Snapdragon Summit here with the 6.5 on the road in Maui. That didn't suck. It was a lot of fun. It was a great time, great event. We'll see you all later. Take care.